Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> So if this one's on top, then yeah, this one goes underneath. And then it's just every other one after that. What did you call it? A Phil, pork fatty? Yeah, pork fatty. Or a bacon explosion was the original term for it. Yeah, I like that. That term's a little better. I'm just loving where this is going because this is just where you're starting. Oh, these things are pretty. <laughs> <laughs> these things are I just, I just want to know where this is going to go. These things are absolutely beautiful. Oh. Anticipation is killing you. Oh. Can we do it again? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> are, you, uh, are, you, are you filming? I am. And the easiest way I've, I've uh, found to do the sausage, you need two pounds of sausage. I'll send out the recipes for these. So six by six weave, two pounds of sausage. You want to use a good pork sausage. Um, you can use anything you want. You can use bre breakfast sausage. You can even buy, buy Italian sausage links. Mm -hmm. And they have the casing on them. You take the casing off and use those. Um, I just like a good regular old hot pork sausage. Works fantastic. It's like a morning sausage. Yeah, just a breakfast sausage. Just a breakfast sausage, or you yeah. can use Italian sausage. Whatever you want, whatever you're in the mood for. H-E-B makes a really good, their, their Italian sausage from the butcher is very good. That would, that'd work great. Okay, <laughs> so the easiest way I've found to do this is a one gallon Ziploc bag, because if you notice, ah, it's the perfect size for a mm -hmm. 6x6 six six weave. Huh. And it's a perfect square. You had to do this, uh, let me mix both of them together. Do you have a pound of normal, a pound of hot? Huh? Do you have a pound of normal? No, two, two pounds of hot. Okay, we just seal it up. And then, obviously, you got to get the air out of it, so what I do is I just poke little holes in each corner. Okay. This would be a main course. Yeah, you'd pick something like this um, for a main course. You have some of those uh, jalapeno poppers first. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you could do that. Absolutely. Yeah. That'd be your appetizer. And you want to try to get it even? I've got a little bit of space over here. That's okay, there you go. So you got a perfect square uh, sausage. Take your don't, don't take it out of the bag, right? <laughs> Probably gonna. That tastes a little nasty. <laughs> Okay, so what you can do is just go down the side here. Like I said, it, it helps have a really sharp knife. Add the flavor. Big confetti is made from people. <laughs> soil, soil and green going the soil on here. Green fans. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you want to do this with cold sausage. Cold sausage holds its form a little bit better. If it's warm, it would be a little tougher to work with. Same thing if you're making uh, patties for hamburgers. It's easier to work with cold meat. Cold Luckily, <coughs> it's cold. Yeah, because it's the same thing with the brisket. You know, the, the cold fat is. So. Thank you for that sound effect. Reuse a bag. Reuse it? Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> Recycle, reuse. Okay. So, this is the part where you can do whatever you want. Uh, today, I'm going to make a shredded Monterey Jack and mushroom one. I've done everything from uh, uh, cream cheese and jalapeno pepper jelly in here, um, smoked provolone, whatever you want. Uh, the original bacon fatty was filled with more bacon, more crispy bacon, so it was cooked through. Dear God. Of course. Yeah. So it's basically bacon inside the form. It's a heart attack and roll. Yeah, right. 
Yeah, like throwing a bunch of cheese in there is making it healthy. <laughs> 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 Makes it seem well, like it's healthy. Yeah, pepper jack would be you know. really good. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a technique to rolling, I'll show you here in a second. And you can grill these mushrooms beforehand if you want. It's, if, if you if you like a little bit more of an uncooked mushroom, or if you like more of a cooked mushroom. But what you want to do is you want to leave some edge, so you've got some, because uh, yeah, cheese especially, it's just going to, you, you need to seal it, and I'll show you how you do that here in a second. You don't want it out to the edge because it'll just melt out of it. You want to keep all that flavor on the inside. Like <laughs> okay, so a lot of people think now you'd roll the whole thing up. We actually don't. You actually start... With the sausage and roll it first. <laughs> then you want to seal the end up. And I kind of had a little bit of a blowout. I had a blowout here, so that's, that's going to leak. Yes, I know. My sausage isn't uh, holding together too well. Too many mushrooms, I guess. So now what you want to do is now, now you want to take the bacon weave and roll it backwards. That's oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Surgeons across the world are just going, oh, oh, man. Man. <laughs> see you next That's time. That's art. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. You're an artist, Jason. Bam. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Hallelujah. You straight on. You straight on. You just want to take up to 165 degrees. Just make sure it's done. But you could do this in the oven or whatever. Yeah, sure you could. You wouldn't get the smoky flavor. Well, would you turn um, the oven on about 250? You could. Or you could. Everybody's going to go. <laughs> hot 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 yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> Stop by HBMOL. Um, yeah, we don't need a smoke flavor. Yeah, let me uh, let me find some. You want to, mm -hmm. let's see. You want to sprinkle the rub all over that? What kind of rub? Did you, did you say Bloody Mary rub? I think. No, the Bloody, no. Bloody Mary Reiner rub. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Just a rub. Just a rub on the outside. Some people put rub on the inside of the bacon, mm -hmm. and then they also put it on the inside of the uh, sausage. But since we have hot and sausage here, it's already got a tremendous amount of flavor. How so. about, how about the brown sugar? Yeah. You can do that. Really? You want to put it on there? It'll caramelize up there. There we go. Oh, That's good. a good idea. Where would the brown sugar go? You know, um, one, one thing with sugar is uh, it obviously caramelizes, and one mistake a lot of people make is when they're grilling or barbecuing is if they put some sort of wet sauce on the outside. Sugar is um, burned at a very low temperature, um, so that's that's what, if you, if you soak your chicken, say, in barbecue sauce and then put it out on your grill, you're going to have black chicken. That's because all the sugars inside of the barbecue sauce have burnt. So what you want to do is actually do a mop at about the five or ten minutes left stage. That way you've got a nice barbecue sauce on the outside, but it's not going to burn. Got some bacon grease over there. You can drizzle it on there. That's more bacon flavor. It's not going to add there nothing. It's a boy. It's a boy. Who brought the cigar? <laughs> You don't have to flip it, you don't have to wrap it, it's done. When you put a thermometer in, it's 165 volts off, let it rest for about 10-15 minutes, cut it up, slice it up. There's the other one here.